Welcome back to City Life. I'm Sarasota Police Chief Peter Abbott. To serve and protect, that's the motto for law enforcement agencies everywhere. In a few minutes, we'll show you a special lady who has devoted the last 38 years protecting school-aged children as they make their way to and from school. But first, I want to introduce you to our canine officers and their very special partners. Hi, I'm Sergeant McHale, Sarasota Police Department Canine Unit. This year's Canine Nero. I'm Officer Bain, Sarasota Police Department Canine Unit. This is Canine Fedor. And he's 23 months old, and we've been on the street since uh, September of 2009. He's my second dog, and it's my third year in the canine unit. Hi, I'm Officer Schwenk, and this is Canine Kuda. Kuda is almost five years old, and I've been with the unit for four years. I'm Officer Gleason, Sarasota Police Department Canine Unit. This is my Belgian Malinois, Canine Hickson. The canine team has many duties and responsibilities. Most of the work that they, ha that they are involved with are either self-initiated activity or response to calls for service from the officers that are in the field. We're a four-person unit currently that uh, is charged with uh, patrolling the entire city on a regular basis. Uh, we work six out of the seven days a week, uh, rotating our days off accordingly and uh, we're on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week throughout the year as needed. Currently have two new additions to the K-9 unit. The newest addition to the K-9 unit is, is K-9 Fedor, who works with Officer Bain, and we have K-9 Hickson, who works with Officer Gleason. Both uh, are new to the unit. We purchased them, the city purchased them within the past year, and we subsequently put them through the mandatory training by the state, which is a minimum of 400 hours. In this scenario, Officer Bain is making contact with a suspicious subject. The subject is going to attack him. Officer Bain is going to use his door popper to release the dog. The dog is going to come out and come to his aid without any command the dog will protect the handler. With the canine unit, it's a, it's a requirement that you must commit a minimum of three years to the unit. However, we find that most of our handlers uh, stay to the extent of their dogs. Uh, depending upon when they took over the canine uh, position and the dog that they work, we have uh, officers that are currently in the unit who has worked through uh, his first canine. Uh, we subsequently retired, and now he's initiated a new canine, Canine Hickson, which you met today. He's newly certified. He's one of the two new dogs that we have in the unit. Stop fighting the dog! Ice! Good boy house! Good boy house! One of the things I think is most important to note is that the way we condition our canine unit is a dog is utilized when they, when they come into contact with an individual who has failed to comply with the request to surrender. Police canine, come down or I'll send the dog! Come down or I'll send the dog! The dog will engage by, what I mean by engage, bite one time. The one bite policy is what we attempt to achieve on each and every scenario where the dog is utilized to, to make a capture of a criminal. A misconception is that the dogs go out and they bite in multiple areas, multiple times, and that is not the uh, case in our situation. Please get them off me. When the canines are at work, they're in an at-work mode, and, and uh, at any moment's notice, they could be called into action. When they come to our homes, they're treated just like you have your pet at home. They're an everyday pet. Most all of us that currently are in this unit have secondary, in some cases, multiple dogs in our houses. So the dogs interact with other dogs and or animals in the homes respectively. So when they're home, just like the police officers, they're in an off-duty capacity. They lay around the house. They uh, take it easy, lay underneath the fan, go in a swimming pool, play with the kids, play with the, you know, Friends, you can walk them through the neighborhood. Again, but uh, they they know the distinction distinction between an on work situation and a relaxed situation. So at home they're they're a pet, and at work they're a pet until 
We have to engage them in their police duties, and they never fail at their duties. It's the best partner that I ever will have. The uh, inside joke often is, uh, you know, it's a partner that comes ready to go to work every single day. The part, he's never bothered by the children, never bothered by uh, off the work problems or existence, and basically it's the same bond that you have as a young boy when you, uh, if you're blessed to have a dog in your life. They bond with us, they're our best friend, they're our best partner, and he will, n not that the officers won't, but he is guaranteed to, to be ready and prepared to lay down his life at any given moment for the sake of keeping you protected. On a historic note, dogs have been used by militaries throughout history dating back as far as the 5th century. Dogs now serve in many law enforcement capacities including narcotics and explosive detection, search and rescue, and disorder control. They also serve as goodwill ambassadors to the community. Now I'd like to introduce you to Barbara Stallings. Barbara is one of our school